feel like the storms is the most contrast you can find in Mother Nature. And through that huge gap of darkness and light, there's a place in between them. I feel like I'm one with everything. And I know that that giant storm that's coming at me, that's inside of me. This is, this is who I really am. I'm not this chaos. I'm in here. Anything I love in this world and like crave, it's just that ultimate liberty and freedom. That's why I love the planes. You know, I feel free out here. I don't feel confined to rules. I got drafted in the sixth round, uh, pick 189 in 2008 to the Seattle Seahawks. I accomplished my dream, and there comes a point where when you accomplish that thing you set out to do and all of a sudden you get drafted and you make it to the NFL, there's a, there's a very strange feeling of, wow, this is it. Like, I thought my life was going to be complete when this happened. And I ended up getting hurt my first preseason game. It was kind of the ultimate storm that I went through. You know, I had, I got cut from the NFL. I was addicted to pain pills, severely depressed. So many nights I was dropped to my knees trying to find a way out of this storm. The reason I started doing the storms was because I wanted to feel. I was on that fringe of life or death. I hid from my storms for so long because I was so afraid of losing control. When I was at the hypnotherapist, I was laying in a chair at the lowest stage of my life, and she said, if you could do anything in the world right now, no fear, what would you do? And I looked deep down inside my heart. My heart was broken wide open, and I said I'd be a landscape photographer. You're just so in the moment. There's nothing else that you're thinking about. You are just dialed into being in nature, and that's it, and that's enough, and that is everything. I don't pretend to have a cure-all for addiction. All I'm trying to do is give someone 
a little ray of light, a little ray of hope so they can see maybe this is a path that I can begin to take. Going and spending time in nature isn't going to hurt anyone. It's only going to benefit us. And those thoughts and those things and then those distractions that are so present in this world are still going on in your life, you won't, you won't be able to listen to your, to your true calling. And everything that's out in the universe and everything we see in nature is a part of us. Everything without is within.